Welcome back to another video, guys. I'm Place 2K. We've got a new Steam Deck update, and we're going to cover it in this video. Courtesy of Steam Deck HQ, go check them out. Anyways, I'm Blaze, and we cover handheld gaming on the channel every day, so please consider clicking the subscribe button down below. Anyways, let's get into it, guys. Right before we get into it though, go check out pixelbuys.com, our new website where we post deals, tech deals, gaming deals, gaming news, tech news, all that good stuff down below. And I've got my top 10 list of my favorite essential Steam Deck accessories on here where I explain just about like the reasons why I think these are the most essential Steam Deck accessories you could buy. So go check out that out. I'll put the link to Pixel Buys up in the, down below in the video description and top pin comment. We've also got an Amazon list of all my favorite Steam Deck accessories too. Go check that out. I'll put the link down that for that down below as well. So let's get to the news so steam deck hq posts steam deck data client september 18th 2023 and it's going to include a new revamped gyro mode interesting let's see what it's got to say so a new steam deck beta client update was released yesterday that revamps the as mouse gyro mode with these changes there will be a smooth low level gyro noise gyro over bluetooth improvements a gyro momentum option and a way to blend yaw versus roll there is also a couple of fixes including for roll access delayed input when opening virtual keyboard and for Razer Wolverine V2 Pro's DualSense Gyro. Interesting. So I love how they're supporting a lot of these third-party controllers um, and delayed input when opening the virtual keyboard. That has been an issue. So I'm glad they seem to have addressed that, but we'll see. Uh, so new gyro mode, gyro to mouse. So this is a renovation of the gyro as mouse mode. Expect frequent changes to UI and behavior while we evaluate this new replacement. As mouse will remain for now. Natural sensitivity scale use pixels per 360 degrees to calibrate both the flick stick and gyro's real world angles and into game angles. In this way, your gyro natural sensitivity multiplier can be consistent across games with pixels per 360 degrees being the isolated turning value for each game. Do any of you guys use the gyro on your games, on the Steam Deck at least? I've just never got into that. People seem to love gyro aiming. I've just never got into it myself. I'd rather use the sticks, and I think we like the sticks on the Steam Deck are more like more than sufficiently sized to be playing FPS games like Call of Duty. Um, I know a lot of people, I know for example, the Nintendo Switch had like really small sticks and it was just hard to translate that into games that were used to playing on full size controllers. For the Switch, I can understand that. For the Steam Deck though, Oh, I've never really needed gyro or been interested, but people seem to love it. Let me know if you're one of those people that loves it down below in the video comments and if any of this makes sense to you, because I don't know much about gyro controls. Um, the one euro filter, smooth, the one something filler, smooth, low level gyro noise without adding delay, speed dead zones, and precision zones will allow you to tune preferences for handshake during the fine aim, yaw versus roll blend, uh, blend, you can now blend between yaw or roll mode, cool, gyro momentum option, releasing your gyro activation button can maintain some rotation from the gyro, tune the momentum on an independent axis, axis is to bias, or to bias toward Horizontal movement versus vertical movement. Gyro sensor timestamps are now used, resulting in better overall accuracy of the gyro. In gyro over Bluetooth improvements, gyro motions extrapolated when Bluetooth packets are delayed, resulting in a smoother movement. Any error incurred is correctly corrected gradually over time during high speed movement to avoid Ouija or the Ouya effect during precise aiming um, and they fixed roll access on Steam Deck for legacy as mouse fixed delay input when opening the standalone on-screen keyboard had that happened since I had my Steam Deck so hopefully they finally fixed that because it's nothing more frustrated when you're trying to like open on desktop mode trying to open up the desktop app on the address bar like start typing stuff in and you start typing stuff in it just doesn't register your initial input it's ugh, maybe i just type too fast that could be an issue uh, fix for a uh, fix for razor Wolverine v2 pro dual sense gyro okay cool so a pretty small update mainly focusing on the gyro mode like i says if that's something you use please let me know in the comments and let me know how i could potentially use it and might find it useful because like i says i've never really used it before never seen the need to use it so i've never really tried using it and i don't know how good it is um so let me know if i'm missing out and i'll maybe go take a look and maybe start using it and who knows i might fall in love with it but let me know in the comments either way and like i says if, at the start of the video go check out pixelbuys.com working really hard on it we'd really appreciate if you subscribed put your email in for the newsletter and you might like some of the emails and some of the tech news even if you check on it now and then um and like i says come follow me on x as well because i'm over on x um 
Blaze2KX on X, um, formerly known as Twitter, and we've even got like a little handheld gaming group now here too. So if you feel like talking about your favourite handheld game consoles, then there you go. And we've also got, I also post videos on X as well, so there we go. And um, check out our Amazon list of favourite Steam Deck accessories. Anyways, have a wonderful day. Let me know if you like Gyro on your Steam Deck, and um, let me know in the comments. And please subscribe, help us get to 100,000 subscribers. Um, I know we regurgitate a lot of the news here, but you know, I hope to do better content very soon. Um, I'm, just, I'm juggling a lot right now. Anyways, <laughs> thank you for watching. I'm Blaze the Game. Peace out, and I'll see you in the next one. Let's go.